This is SolidWorks Flow Simulation, where we simulate engine intake manifold valves opening and closing at each cylinder port. We can use this information to visualize the flow traversing the manifold and color it by local speed or pressure to evaluate the manifold design. We can simulate the openings at the cylinder ports by dropping the lid pressures below ambient over a period of time. We assume a firing order, calculate a total period for one cycle over the RPM we want, and develop a timing sequence for pulsing the pressure drop. We can develop the data sets in Excel, for example. The different colored columns on this spreadsheet represent time and pressure values for each port. Here is a graph showing the drop in pressure at one of the ports. This next graph shows all four pressure drop curves. We will copy the data from the spreadsheet into flow simulation in a moment. To set up the transient analysis in flow simulation, right-click on the input data icon and choose General Settings. Just check the time-dependent option as shown here. Next, right-click on the input data icon once again and choose Calculation Control Options. In the dialog, select the maximum physical time entry and enter a value for the end of the cycle, and click OK. Now let's look at the boundary conditions. We have the inlet environment pressure of 101325 pascals. Notice the tag pointer with the value at the lid showing on screen. Next we have the pressure boundary conditions showing on each of the cylinder ports at the lid for each port. Note the tags on screen have the word dependent on them. This is because the pressure on each lid is dependent on time and uses the Excel spreadsheet contents for each one. We set the lid pressure of port number 3 back to ambient to show how to do this. If you right click on the boundary condition and edit definition, you can see the face selected and the environment pressure item selected. Simply click on the F of X button to open a dependency dialog. Here in the pull down menu, we choose the function of time option table to use the contents of the Excel spreadsheet. Go ahead and switch over to Excel and simply copy the spreadsheet data. Now switch back to the flow simulation and place your cursor in the first cell. You must use Control V on your keyboard to paste the data into the table. Click on the preview chart option to show a graph of the data for verification and you can OK the dialogs. Do this for each lid and you can run the analysis.